The former 24th pick in the 06 draft was looked at as a career backup point guard coming into the league. Kyle Lowry continued to work on his game every year and has emerged as a high-level all-star point guard for the Toronto Raptors. Coming into this season, the Raptors were the team that most experts picked to challenge Cleveland and possibly represent the East in the finals. After Lowry badly sprained his ankle in Game 2, the writing was already on the wall. Beating Cleveland with Lowry at 100% would have been a tough task. The Raptors guard confirmed that he plans to opt out of his contract and become an unrestricted free agent. Honestly, I, I haven't um, thought about the criteria. I haven't thought about too far ahead of any of that. Um, I will be opting out, and that's as far as I've gotten. This comes as no surprise that an all-star level player opting out of his contract for a huge payday because of the TV money kicking in. This will likely be Lowry's last big contract he will sign given his age. Kyle is coming off a career year, this season averaging around 22 points, 7 assists, and 1.5 and steals per game while shooting 42% from 3. Toronto will obviously be interested in re-signing Lowry. Kyle can sign a 5-year, $200 million deal with the Raptors, while everybody else can only offer 4 years and around $150 million. But would the Raptors really want to bring back the same team who were just swept out of the playoffs by LeBron James and the Cavaliers? Doing so would put them at least $30 million over the luxury tax. Is that something the owner and the front office want to do for a team that's not close to beating LeBron James in the series? There was a report that Kyle was interested in playing for a Western Conference team. It really doesn't make sense for him to want to switch to a deeper and better conference. But whether it's the East or the West, you're going to have to deal with one of the ultra elites of the NBA, the Warriors or the Cavaliers. The only team in the West that makes sense for Kyle Lowry is the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs are no doubt a top four team in the league and is in need of a starting point guard. Tony Parker will be 35 this month and is currently recovering from a ruptured quad tendon. I wouldn't be surprised if Tony Parker has played his last game in the NBA. For this to work, the Spurs will have to hope Pau Gasol opts out of his contract and they use the stress provision on the final year of Tony Parker's contract. If that happens, the Spurs will have roughly $28 million in cap space. Lowry will have to accept a less than max contract from San Antonio. But he will be playing with one of the best players in the league in Kawhi Leonard and one of the most consistent franchises in the last 15 years. In my opinion, the best option for Kyle Lowry is the 76ers. The one glaring weakness going forward for the 76ers is veteran presence from a high-level NBA player. Kyle Lowry could be the perfect complement to franchise players Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Like Kenny Smith I always say on TNT, he could average around 20 points per game in Sacramento, but he had to work hard for it every night. But when he played in Houston for Akeem Olajuwon, scoring came so much easier. And that's what I think Kyle Lowry could experience in Philly. He will be playing with a dominant low post presence in Joel Embiid and an unselfish elite playmaker in Ben Simmons. It could extend Kyle Lowry's prime by a couple of years. Kyle can space the floor, defend point guards, and serve as a secondary ball handler to Simmons. He has the leadership and the playoff experience that will be crucial for a young basketball team. Philly could put out a lineup of Kyle Lowry, Justin Anderson, Ben Simmons, Dario Saric, and Joel Embiid. And that could be a top four roster in the Eastern Conference next year. And don't forget, they will be adding a talented rookie to the mix like Jason Tatum, Malik Monk, or Josh Jackson. And also Kyle Lowry has ties to Philadelphia. He attended the University of Villanova and the current 76ers general manager, Brian Colangelo, was also the general manager in Toronto and actually traded for Kyle Lowry from Houston to Toronto. Lowry represents the Philly mentality. He's a scrappy, hard-working, blue-collar point guard. He's the player that Philly needs right now and the player they deserve.